Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for <laughs> Cancer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do the emotions for Cancer right now. Let's see what's coming in for Cancer. Ah, gratitude and seeing the lighter side of life, focusing on that, and I'm thankful for the life and the opportunities that it presents. All right, what's on the bottom of the deck? Love. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see what else do we have for cancer. So something may be at a standstill right now. Ah, needing to release something here. Having the lighter side, having gratitude, having love. Ah, maybe in solitude right now. Doing your shadow work or healing something here. Mm, gaining your inner peace. That's beautiful. Let's see what we have for love. Well, you deserve love. Stay optimistic. You may have had deception in the past, and this could be the one, maybe the one coming in for you. Mm. You may have thought this person was the one, hey? But it's unrequited. Now, this could be your past person here. Could be somebody coming in. Maybe there's another lesson that needs to be learned here. Hmm. For cancer. So just pay attention, perhaps. Let's see. What does spirit have to say about all this? What is all this unrequited love here? Remember who you are, Archangel. Michael, you are powerful, loving, and create um, a creative child of God. You are very loved. So just know that you are loved. So even if this person, hmm, outdoors, Archangel Japhael, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to release stress and gain new creative ideas. Okay. So, what else for Kensa? Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. That's kind of like a way of life. And a brilliant idea. You're going to gain some type of idea from spirit here. It's divinely guided. You're going to take action on this. So let's go backwards because we're kind of going backwards here and see because it usually goes this way and this way. So then we'll have a look at everything together, how it's meant to come in for you here. Ah, chaos and conflict. Ah, karmic cycle. Round and round we go ah, with a masculine. Okay. Truth be told to a masculine or from a masculine. Take it how it resonates for you. Ooh, something's kind of a miracle to you. <laughs> this person might not be allowed to come through unless they tell you some type of truth. This may... This may, um... <laughs> I kind of feel like make you joyful to know this, like... <laughs> they can't come forward into your energy. There's some expansion here. Yeah, you're kind of impartial to something. Hmm. What is this? Impartiality. Ah, the thinking man. Number 10 is here. So this may be about manifesting. Something's come to an end for somebody here. Oh, there's a man holding a coin, number seven and number ten, a completion, end of a cycle, or renewal. And then we also have a reflection, assessing, knowledge. Ooh, somebody's on their temple path. Ooh, and they are on a journey with a partnership here with number two. What's your heart's desire? Your true heart's desire, Cancer. And then we'll read it in the way that it was meant to be read. Let's 
see. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun. And remember, love is the greatest healer. <laughs> Sexual union. Honor the place from one another where you are eternal you are one eternal soul for there will find true bliss <laughs> i feel like this person can't uh talk to you properly it's almost like the truth problems beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflections so this could be a twin flame Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay. So this must be somebody from your past here. This person may be seeing you on your journey right now. They may be impartial to spirituality. That means like they, they don't believe and they don't not believe they're kind of in the middle you may see some miracles here or they're seeing this as a miracle they're not allowed to come forward something stopping something here there's somebody needs to expand some i feel like you might be already in that joyful bliss of some sort here and somebody's in chaos, they may be going around and around with a karmic that's in their energy. This is a masculine they may be going around and around with, or this could be you. There's a truth that's supposed to change everything with the number five here, truth be told. You're giving gratitude, you're having the highest frequency, there's humor here. You're standing still until you're able to release something. You'll find that inner peace. Yeah, you may have thought in the past this person was the one, but they're not able to come forward right now. So you're going to clear your space. You're going to go outside. You're going to remember who you are. You're going to get those brilliant ideas. And so let's see what else comes in for you, Cancer. Yeah, you may be somebody that is very determined, confident, self-assured, and optimistic. You might even be starting your own business here. You're on your temple path here, on your journey. What do we have for that? Yeah, you're looking for that equal give and take. Maybe being able to be generous with people, or you are generous with people. You just want that equality when it comes to a relationship yeah you may be healing something here where this person wants to heal this with you what's this truth be told yeah they want to come in and give you an offer but they have to tell you the truth i'm feeling for this to come forward yeah they may be having sleepless nights here yeah they may have had a broken heart here. It makes me wonder if this round and round is with someone else. They may have given their cup to someone else here. I feel like you might be the one healing here. They gave the the wrong person the wrong the, the cup that you were supposed to get. And they need to tell you some type of truth, maybe how they truly feel. They haven't been able to get you out of the mind. Maybe they've been in having a nightmare. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've been on the other end of the spectrum here. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken over this. Somebody's working on something here on their heartbreak. This may be the person. Yeah, they want to come in and give you... You are the blessing. They may have dumped out your cup. They didn't give you the love you were meant to have here. What is Spirit saying here? Oh. King of Pentacles is here. Oh, and a King of Wands. Okay. And the King of Wands is 
your counterpart here. Oh boy. So, <laughs> okay, I'm not taking it on the fence. It has to come upwards. And although these are only red in the up, up front anyways, I rather have it come up, come in right instead of that they're thinking about it. Let's see here. We want the action behind it. Let's see what's this Queen of Wands. Uh, you are the Empress. You've bossed up. This masculine here, this thinking man, this man with the coin. It looks like you may have two men here that are on this journey with this number two here for a partnership with you. And you're on your templed path. I feel like you've had some type of growth. You're looking for that equal give and take here. Somebody's trying to get out of something here, trying to feel like they're not bound to somebody. I feel like it might be a karmic here. Let's see, what what is this? I feel like you're the one that's already healed. I feel like this may be this person here. They may have given you the wrong cup. Yeah, you've already healed from somebody getting caught in the act doing something here. What's this Knight of, the Cu Knight of Cups here? Oh, this has to do with love. They may have thought they were in love with somebody here, but it was just chaos and conflict. Round and round, karmic cycle. We have 33. Um, so you can look up these numbers. 3371, 33171513314, 5114. Maybe I said that one. <laughs> and see what other messages come in for from your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides through the angel number uh, spiritual meanings. Let's see. What is this? Nightmares or can't sleep. It's something's keeping you up at night. Oh, you already ended this out. I feel like this is this person. I feel like you already let this go. What's this eight here? The working, oh uh, yeah, somebody wants to work on this union. They're heartbroken right now. They may have ended out something here to come in for you. For some of you, that's exactly what's going on here. They may have been healing, trying to heal. They got caught, doing, somebody got caught doing something here. They either got caught or their person got caught. They gave the wrong cup. They thought they were in love here. They may have learned some type of truth here. They may be trying to end something out here. They want to work on this love relationship. They, it looks like they know they have to heal too. What's this Ace of Cups here? Oh, this is a lot of desire for you. They know this was unrequited at one point. This could be somebody from your past. Why is the devil here? Oh, it's a blessing. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Wow. I wonder if it means that you, either person you go with, you're going to have a blessing either way. Whether it's with this King of Wands or whether it's this King of Pentacles. Whoa, that's why it's an emperor and the empress. What? So this king of wands is this king of pentacles. It's the emperor. He's just showing up in his wealthy side and his um <coughs> good looking side. <laughs> or that, I shouldn't say that. His um taking risks. <laughs> Uh, not afraid to take those risks and and definitely the the stable side of him so he's showing up on both sides both aspects what's on the bottom of the deck wow look at this you're gonna have a victory either way when it comes to this person they've bossed up they've learned something now even though the past didn't come back I feel like 
it could be that it it doesn't have to be that it's somebody from the past it could be somebody new and this could be what's going on in their life they're trying to get away from somebody to come in to make an offer for you they may not be able to get you out of their mind maybe they saw your social media maybe you have a platform maybe they saw something TikTok or whatever maybe you saw them <laughs> either way whether you are the emperor or the empress the emperor's coming in for his empress or the empress is coming in for their emperor I still feel like it's the emperor's coming in for the empress wow but there is love here we have the lovers here, the twin flame. We have the twin flame here, and we have love over here. And even though we don't have unrequited here, this may have been with this other person. Because we have this could be the one, and then an unrequited love. So this almost makes me wonder if there's three people here. An emperor, this person here is the emperor, and this person maybe the unrequited these could be two new people they could be both from the past they could be one from the past and one that's new like take it however it resonates for you <laughs> wow well cancer this is what i do have for you like this is crazy so it looks like you're having a blessing here like this, the reason I thought maybe you had two here is kind of what I'm getting here is that there was two different people. And then it's like for some of you, I'm getting that it's somebody from the past and somebody new. And then for some, some others here that they're both from the past or they're both new. So it just depends on what resonates for you because I'm kind of getting a couple different things here but this is a journey you're meant to be on with somebody here we also have some other numbers here I want to have a look at we have number 10 so it could be one seven three two or one zero seven three one zero seven two and it could be one seven three two take it and plug some numbers in there and see what comes up for you for some additional messages that spirit may have for you all right, you guys, if you still want to get into the free reading and have a chance at winning the $140 free video personalized reading, you can check out my channel on my community tab. Click on that. There's a post in there that tells you exactly how to go about winning this month's free reading that I pull on the 10th. And this is going to be for July, last this last month that just passed. So it's for July for a free reading. So And I'll be doing August in September 10th. And ev on the 10th, I will be picking the winners. So it starts from the 1st to the 10th that I put the information in and pick a winner on the 10th. So if you want to get in for a free reading, that's how you're going to do that is just check out the community tab on my channel all right you guys you can also gift that channel or that reading that free reading and if you want to donate you can click on the description box below and there's a youtube or there's a, oh geez i'm really having troubles with my mouth today there is a description box you can click on a PayPal account that is a link that will take you right to PayPal or you can <laughs> use the super thanks 
even just watching the videos is thanks enough. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, you guys, <laughs> take care. All right, later.